reporting. <sighs> Somebody help me. This is literally the fifth diet swap Will's made me do with him. And I swear to God, if I have to eat one more food turned anabolic, I- Victoria, time for some anabolic ice cream. Wait, what are you doing? Is the camera on? I'm not doing anything. I'll be done soon. You will? Hurry up. Yep. Okay. Okay, if it's not too late, please send help. Or pizza. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to be swapping diets with Me. my older sister, Victoria. So, you know, I haven't seen this done before. I mean, I've watched a lot of swapping themed videos, not on YouTube, but what I have noticed is that it really helps expand your horizons with, you know, new routines, food, uh, positions and people like I embrace total surprise. Why do you point at me like food? Because we're swapping diets. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like, I embrace total surprise. Like I love a little game of what's that meat, you know? So don't y'all. Yeah, so I think you're gonna be getting a lot of protein today. I feel like I'm gonna get kind of malnourished today, but it's gonna be a nice insight to see how people eat of different sizes, different genders. So it's a nice little informational video, right? Let's just get this video started. started. Victoria and I actually have a lot in common. So she's a lawyer, so she's very familiar with white powder and we both like our coffee black. So we're headed to Starbucks right now to get a coffee. We do have a coffee machine at home, but we like to go out in the, in the mornings and get a coffee because you know, with everything in lockdown, just going to get a coffee gives you some sort of connection to the world, don't you think? One of the only times I leave the house. You've actually managed to cut back on, to, on your coffee, right? I it's drink only one, one a day. coffee a day when I wake up. And although it's a, it's a triple Americano, I will say though, <laughs> yeah. that's just like piling it all in into one thing. So I wouldn't say that that's that much of an accomplishment, but. All right, so I got my Grande Pike. Time to swap it. Tall triple Americano. All right. Enjoy. It's coffee, so I gotta tell myself size doesn't matter, but it is a beautiful day right now, and we're gonna enjoy a nice little jaunt on the streets, and then get home and start eating. <music> Who are you hiding from? She looks like she's like in incognito mode right now. He looks like a goose. Look at you. I don't look like a goose. It's negative 12 degrees Celsius outside. It's freezing. Oh my god. You gotta suck it up. Okay, so we are back at home as you guys can obviously tell and naturally we're gonna start with some breakfast. So thankfully, you don't do intermittent fasting. I do not. But you do no, sometimes, I guess. Depends on the day. Yeah. No structure at all as opposed to me. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm by the book type of guy. I just eat what I want. Yeah, when, when I, I want. want. That's the life I, I kind of strive for. But what I have noticed though is that we get on different trains at breakfast time. She's more of the savory route and I'm more of the sweet route. So we're gonna see what happens. It's just, I'll cut like the brown stuff off. Are you kidding me? Stop being so It looks like it's a damn avocado from like the museum. Yeah, and you're just letting like the, the eggs just absolutely just oh, shit. turn into coal, right? No, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, they're done. I don't even think an Instagram filter could rescue this dish. Mine? Yeah, it looks so. Ugh. I will say I wasn't forecasting a, a complete breakfast, but I'm pleasantly surprised. It's actually a very cohesive dish. Thank you. And it's been really nice to see like her evolution of your cooking abilities. So for you, I made protein pancake pizza, and that's just like the canvas, and like you put whatever you want on it. So then you it's go just PB2. What's with the pizza? It's, pi it's pizza. Okay. It's a lot of syrup. There you go. Okay. You're me today. I mean, it's not the most volume of food, so luckily I had a little bit of a breakfast before I got out of bed this morning. So let's just dive right in. Mm. Well, it's pretty good. Avocado, yeah. It's good. Thank you. Oh wow, it is good. That tomato. Mm, this is really good. Mm -hmm. So I used Blue Star Shake One French vanilla flavor. Yeah. The fun thing about that is they have a nice little like stimulant blend for the morning. It's supposed to be like the first shake of the day. Mm -hmm. So there's more, some more additives in there to make you, you know, perk up. Do I need you some know? perking up? It's a proprietary blend. So what would you say? Go like, to ten. Um, I'm gonna give it a six. Okay, you know what? It's actually not bad. Compared to a buttermilk pancake. 
Oh, you missed, I, I drew a little happy face for you in the hot sauce, you missed it. So yeah, you, you're pretty good at just like seeing something and you know. Yeah, um, I would say that's probably mm, 350 to 400. And that's that's pr that's pretty much the exact same thing. Really? Yeah. I was gonna say like my problem with my diet, I would say, is that I don't eat enough protein mm -hmm. because I'm not really like much of a meat eater. Not that I'm a vegetarian, but yeah. I don't know that I'll give you any meat today. It's all right. Yeah. Got plenty later. Yeah. So Victoria's about like 75% done. And you feeling full? Get very full. Very full. I was full a while ago. Yeah. So usually after breakfast is when I would work out. So we're gonna head downstairs and do a little bit of a workout right now. And what are you gonna do? Probably workout. Very funny. Yeah. I'm supposed to Skype my friends. So. Okay. Tell you what, I just did overhead press three sets eight to ten with 175. Last week I got three sets of eight. I just got 10, 10, and then 11, which is an insane lifetime volume PR for the overhead press. So maybe you know, toast, eggs, avocado, something to it. Okay guys, so that is gonna wrap up the workout. I have not had a better workout than that in like weeks. That was unreal. PR is left, right, and center. Feels really good, so I'm gonna go upstairs, shower, and then go make some lunch. Okay, so time to make some lunch for my sister. So we're gonna be making her a cauliflower chicken pineapple fried rice. All of my recipes today will be in the description. This one is super, super tasty and very low calorie, so let's get to it. So I have the pan preheating. I'm just gonna season up my chicken with salt and pepper. So this is eight ounces of raw chicken. So just salt and pepper. Good, now we're gonna take it to the stove. I get a nice sear on it. And then after that, we're gonna start cutting our veggies. So I really just took out any vegetables that I had on hand. I do mushrooms, I love mushrooms in this recipe, but we didn't have it. So I just have a little bit of zucchini. You guys know I, I love zucchini. And then some red pepper, and then just a little bit of garlic, and that's it. So you might be wondering, where is Victoria? And she's actually upstairs sleeping. Apparently the uh, pancake, oh, she's not sleeping. There she is. Come on out. I like my naps. I'm doing a little cooking show for your lunch. Oh. You're having pineapple chicken fried rice. What are you making for That's me? Good. Um, probably just like yogurt and fruit and granola. Is that okay? That's you, re you realize I hit a PR today. You did? Yeah, you so I mean, eggs? yeah, I want to keep them. Okay. But I will say though, I'm Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt. I'm feeling like myself. Okay, so time for the second last step before we add the egg to the fried rice. So we're gonna make the peanut dressing. It's a lower calorie peanut dressing. Gonna go in with a little bit of grated fresh ginger. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of PB2 and then one tablespoon of water. There you go. Now we're gonna go in with one tablespoon of sesam oil. Now one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. And then last but not least, just a little squirt of some rooster juice. And there we go, that's a beautiful low calorie peanut sauce that we're gonna add at the end once the egg is cooked and everything is cooked and then that's my sister's lunch that I wish I had. Okay, so we're making a little bit of a hole here. When you see a hole, what do you gotta do? You gotta fill it. So we're gonna fill it with a raw egg. Boom. Right there. We'll let it do its thing for a little bit and then we're gonna scramble it into the rice, top it with the dressing, mix it all up and that's your beautiful lunch. Tell the people what you made me. So you have plain Greek yogurt, um, a bit of 
fruit. So it's kind of whatever's in the fridge. So today it's a bunch of berries and pomegranates and then granola, cinnamon, and raisins. Okay, I dig it, but I mean, look at the difference of efforts here. Like, I put in work, and this is practically the kitchen equivalent to star fishing. Take a bite, you're, you're gonna go right to the streets of Hong Kong. Okay. Guaranteed. I gave you the flower spoon. You did? When we used to fight about it all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that was good. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Get that pineapple in ya. What did you put? The cinnamon is like very, like... Cinnamony? Very in your face. You put a lot in there. Yeah, I do. And you know what the, the funny thing is, calorie-wise, we're, we're probably not that far off because granola is obnoxious. I will say though that like, I haven't, I've yet to have a chemical today. So when I was showering upstairs, I was eyeing those Tide Pods. I'm just getting way more protein already than I'm ever used to. Mm -hmm. So she actually said, she thought that was for the entire family, but that's how I roll. Yeah? It's true. What's the point of eating until you're not full? I, I live for that feeling before bed. I live for it. Really? Yeah. It's like it's like it's like defeat, and then you just get to pass out. You want the food to win. You I want the food win. to defeat me at nighttime, and then I wake up and then I conquer it again. I'm getting quite a bit of pineapple. Thank you. So it just makes fluids in general taste better. I think so. Hmm. Apparently, um, like alcohol also makes it taste bad. Al al alcohol makes fluids uh, taste bad. Does it really? Yeah. Hmm. You think? I mean, it's, it tastes like a parfait. It is a parfait, basically. Exactly. So I mean, like, I wouldn't, I can't like critique your. I'd say presentation-wise, is there. Like, Thank you. You, like, you nailed it. Just trying to make it look pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're the type of person you'd like to hoard the calories till later in the day. God damn! I wish that wasn't so accurate. All right. Again. So I'm just gonna sit here, and then we'll probably do some like fancy B-roll of her attacking this thing. Mm -mm. No. It's embarrassing. So I like to think that I'm a pretty good skipper. Victoria is getting pretty good with the Rubik's Cube. You've been practicing quite a bit. Um, not lately, but I had been, so yeah, hopefully been. hopefully I'm not rusty. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is a little competition. We're gonna see who can finish first. So I'm gonna do 400 skips and she's gonna try doing that Rubik's Cube and we'll see what happens. Nice little sibling rivalry here. Three, Three two, one, go. I just hit 300. Yeah. I think 400 is a bit ambitious, but hey, it's the first time a girl finished before me. So, you know what? <laughs> That's gross. I am, I am so hungry now. I feel like after the breakfast, I was good. Then I had the lunch, the lunch was just so small. It kind of just like got me going. I'm but not we'll, hungry at all, but if you want a snack, let's do our snack. Yeah, because I mean, it's almost five o'clock, so we should probably have a snack now. So for the snack, I'm gonna be giving Victoria one of these Iron Way Pro Meals, citrus habanero chicken. Only 327 calories. So to me, that's pretty much a snack. Anything below 400 calories, I consider a snack personally. We're because I here. really want some more chicken. Yeah, it's good. It's so tasty. And I got you this cucumber right here. I love cucumbers. But so I'm cutting a, it. You're cutting it. I am cutting it. You're not cutting it anywhere in life, do you? Sorry. Um, and then I have this little mini hummus thing for your dip. Oh, hummus always reminds me of my escapade in Amsterdam. They called me chickpea. Always I thought that was your night. nickname in high school. I always ended the night off covered in tahini. Chicken. Sweet potato mash, really get your veggies in. Oh my God. Unreal, again, 10 10, 10% off, link in the description. And yeah, this is sad, sad <laughs> plate. I'm just gonna go with my typical ratios here. Go like pretty aggressive on the, the sauce. That's what I'm conditioned to do. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it sweet potato you said? Yeah, sweet potato type of, I think it's like sweet potato and carrots and stuff. Mm, it's very good. Yeah. I would call that a snack. I call this like a, an amuse-bouche. So I'm done my snack, slash pretty much equivalent to as filling as a piece of gum, but um, I'm gonna let you work away yours again. Yeah. And then we're gonna do something pretty different for dinner today. So we're both gonna actually Uber Eats each other dinner to the house. Um, we're not gonna have any idea. It's gonna be like what we would actually wanna eat at this point in time. Oh, I'm jealous of you for when I'm ordering you. Really? Mm-hmm. I think I'm, you're gonna be jealous. I'm jealous of what I'm ordering for you. Mm. Yeah, and then before the food actually gets here, so once we order it, we're gonna do a nice little wine taste test. 
I'm not a big drinker of wine. There's a big, um, you, you have quite the advantage because she accidentally <laughs> spills a bottle down her throat every single night. Very funny. I, I do wine courses actually. So, so if I lose, that'll be embarrassing. Yeah. I'm not going to be good at this, but I'm have a fun time. The three wines that you have are a California Cabernet. Okay. A Spanish Tempranillo. Okay. And an Australian Shiraz. Ooh. Okay. Do we have any cheese? Okay. Here? And that's like not in order. So we're decide we're trying to figure out which is which. You gotta do the little swirl and sniff. Didn't learn much there. Earthy. Oh, it's sweet. It's fruity. Do you fruity? I find it more spicy than fruity. Like, it's not oh, I'm the spice now. That's not an elegant sip, Will. Okay, let's move on. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it smells fruity. It smells like fr a freaking fruit punch, like a Kool-Aid. There's a darkness to it. Yeah. So. It tastes like, like medicinal. Oh. <clears throat> oh no, I'm all sorts of confused. These taste identical too. Yeah, these taste really similar. This one has a very in your face nose. You know what I mean? This one. Yeah. Yeah. Are they all the same uh, year? By chance, do you know that? Because my influence my. <laughs> what did what? it influence it? Yeah. Because wine's one of those things that gets better with age. And I get better with wine. Come on. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay. So let's start with number one. Okay. Yeah. So are we gonna say just what where it's from? Three, two, two one, one Australia. That wasn't one of the options. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> oh shit. Three, two, one California. Spain. Yes, because that's the caps have. Uh oh. I don't know what's screw this is this is the cab. This is the cab sat for sure. You think? It's only because I would have said that. It's just that yesterday we had the Spanish one that smells like this. Okay, so I'm going, we're going to Australia, I'm going to the Cab Sav. And now the last one, that just means just by default, Spain. And you're, I mean, you can double guess if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna say Spain. Okay, so what were the results? <laughs> All right, so number one, on your left, our right would be the Spanish Tempranillo. Is it? This is Toro Bravo, isn't it? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> But then, oh, okay. That one has a- Holy shit, Will. Hmm? This is embarrassing, <clears throat> okay. Last number two would be the California Cabernet. Well, yeah, that's embarrassing. Okay. And last number three is the Australian Shiraz. So I won. So I got zero of them right, and you got one. I got one. We'll have to have a rematch. And I feel so underfed, and I just slammed those three, and I'm not feeling it without, that uh, hot right now. Okay, so my guy's just about to show up, so Victoria's gonna go answer the door for hers right now. Oh, I was not expecting this. Okay. Here you go, so I got you. It's an Osmo's wrap. It's like a special wrap. Okay. With chicken shawarma, pineapple. It's pineapple. You're really filling me up with pineapple today. Yeah. It's a big bag. It's like a duffel bag. <laughs> Thank you, have a great day. Thank you. Okay, so we went to next door. Smash. Oh, thank you. Thanks. So we go into Smash Kitchen and Bar, which is the local restaurant here. And it's amazing, it's the best. What is so. it? I got you the LA mac and cheese. The LA mac and, and cheese. cheese. With added grilled chicken. So it looks like you have another glass of wine too. So when I said that she hoards the calories, I wasn't kidding. I feel you probably you probably get already fit. There you go. Oh, that's actually yeah. how many pounds do you think? Yeah. Probably fifteen. That I feel like I, the only time I'd ever actually order this is if I hit like rock bottom. What the? Look at that cheese pull. All right. Oh, here we go. Come on. Back up the truck because I'm hopping in. That's good. <laughs> oh. Wait, you you gotta approach it like you're a vampire, like like going after like a an egg. There you go. Holy macro cobra. How is it? Spicy. Yeah, really? Yeah. I'm gonna feel defeated, Laura Ben. Yeah? I'm gonna feel defeated, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll let you work away at that. I'm not going farther. No? Because I actually feel kind of sick. Really? Yeah. No. Oh. So I think that's, I mean, okay. that's not necessarily a bad thing at all. I mean, I'm- How many I'm, calories do you think the whole thing is? I can't, now, I want to say you're looking at Two grand territory. No. Yeah, two grand territory for sure. Really? Yeah. Like that. That's... I would have said fifteen. Dinner is done, and I feel gross. 
<laughs> Me too. And I'm, I'm happy about it for some reason because it's kind of weird, I guess, but. It was a treat for you. Yeah, that was a treat. Very fatty and just, I felt like I indulged, which is what I'm, which is, which is what I'm after. So, I mean, I would make you an anabolic ice cream. I typically would end my night with that, but I just can't imagine having it right now. I, would, I wouldn't have dessert. Yeah, either. so we're both not gonna do dessert today. So that is gonna wrap up the video here. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.